Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to complete another engineering challenge. Today's challenge is to build a beanstalk that's as tall as you can make it, just like the beanstalk in Jack and the Beanstalk. Do you think you could build a beanstalk that reaches up to the sky? Uh, I don't know. I'd like to try it, but I don't know if I could. The other thing that your beanstalk needs to be able to do is stand on its own. Okay, let's see what we need to complete this challenge. So for this challenge, you're going to use paper, tape, and your imagination. That's it. So you need to use those engineering skills. Okay, what do we do to complete this challenge? The first thing I want you to do is use your imagination and think. How could you build a tall beanstalk that stands up all on its own? Hmm, I'm going to have to think about how you'll support the beanstalk. Okay, now your next step is to draw a plan. I'm going to make my plan right now and I'll show it to you when I finish. Okay, so here's my plan. I think that I'm going to try to make the beanstalk out of paper tubes. And I want to try to make some support at the bottom that kind of sticks out from the bottom of the paper. And then I'm going to add some leaves so it looks like a beanstalk, too. I think that'll be really cool. Okay, I'm going to get started making this. The first thing I'm going to do is make a paper tube. Okay, so here's my paper. I think I'm going to take it and cut it in half so that I can make more tubes to make a taller beanstalk. So let me start with that. Here we go. Okay, now how do I make the paper tube? Well, that's pretty easy. I just roll the paper into kind of a circle shape like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to tape it shut. So let me do that and then I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, so here I have two paper tubes, but I don't want my beanstalk to only be that tall, so I'm going to stick them together at the top so that my beanstalk can be even taller. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it stand up without falling over. I think this is pretty tall. I'm going to work on the support next. Okay, so now I tried to add some support to my beanstalk. Let's see if I can get it to stand up. Ooh, I hope it stands all by itself. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh. Ah, oh no, it's not standing yet. What should I do next? Well, remember, if something is not working, try again. I think my beanstalk needs more support on the bottom. Don't you? Yeah, I think I need to come up with another plan to make that work. Now, when you finish your beanstalk, your job is to think. How tall is your beanstalk? First thing you get to do is you're going to grab a measuring tape, and I want you to measure to see how tall your beanstalk is. Now, even though mine didn't stand yet, I'll work on that later. Let's measure it and see how tall it is. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so if I start right here on the bottom, and my measuring tape is at one, and I go all the way down, Ooh, how many inches tall is my beanstalk? It is 19 inches. Wow, that's pretty tall. That's awesome. Hmm, I wonder if I can make it taller. 
Not until I make it stand up first, right? The other thing that I want you to think about is, could you have made the beanstalk taller? Why or why not? Well, I know I certainly couldn't make mine taller because if I did, it'd just keep falling down. I need to come up with a better way to make it stand. I hope you have a lot of fun building your beanstalks. I can't wait to see if you can make them stand up all on their own and how tall they will be. Have fun, everybody, and I hope to see you again very soon.